Welcome to NMCG channel. Here we are going to drive area of triangle using analytical geometry or you can say that coordinate geometry. So first we are going to assume the coordinates of triangle ABC as x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. And then we will check the perpendicular line from the vertices of the triangle on x axis. You can see here we have a chicken that is A. We have assumed here A to D is a perpendicular line, C E is a perpendicular line, and B F is a perpendicular line on x axis. You may check this line on y axis too, you will get the same result. This is our target to prove we are going to see. So now you can see that these triangles are perpendicular, that means these are and on the same base, that means these triangles, not triangles, uh, these perpendicular lines are parallel to each other. Now we need to find area of triangle ABC. So here we will use very simple concept. The concept is what? First we will take the whole trapezium. As it is a trapezium, we know that in a coordinator, if one pair is parallel, opposite pair are parallel, then we can say that. It's a trapezium. So you can see here ADEC -E -E is a trapezium, another is CEFD is a trapezium, and ADADFB is another trapezium. It looks like here rectangle, but it's not generally always. If your line will be like this, it may be rectangle or trapezium. So we will check. Check this one and we will try to take here trapezium only. Okay, don't take rectangle. This looks like rectangle, but generally we will get trapezium. Now, what we are going to do to find the area of triangle, what we are going to do? We will find first area of trapezium, this one, whole thing, and this whole area of triangle, not area of triangle, area of trapezium, and then we will subtract this one, that is AB. F B will get our area of triangle. So first we need the value of this all. We can see here. So directly we can find or indirectly also. So one by one we are going to use the concept and we'll find. So first we go for area of trapezium. A D E C. So I will find half into sum of parallel side. For this one is parallel side is what A D plus C E into into height height or distance between them. So D E is the distance between these two parallel line. Why is it a perpendicular? Yes, you can see that this is a perpendicular line. There is a ninety degree. That means D is a perpendicular, that means it is a height. So here we are getting D. Now find the coordinates of this one, not coordinate, length of this one. So here we have AD. AD is what? Height of this one. So this is your Y1. So we will substitute here Y1 plus CE. CE is what? Y3. Right here, y three into de. De is what you are getting. So de is here. Oe minus od. Oe is what that is x coordinate. You can see that x three minus x one will get here x three minus x one. This is our area of trapezium. A D E C. Similarly, we'll apply the area of trapezium for what A not A C E F B, and we'll get the value of half into parallel side that is your C E. Plus B L into E L. 
get the value. So what we will get three D that is your what y three plus b f y two into e f means o f minus o e o f means x two minus o e o e means x three. This is another one. The last one area of trapezium a d f p. So here area of trapezium a d f b half into sum of parallel sides that is your a d plus b f into height height is what d f substitute here you will get half into a d that is y1 plus y2 into df means of minus oe of is x2 oe is your x3 that is x2 sorry sorry that is df we need to find that is what of minus og that is x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 therefore what we can say so we need this value what we have that is your y1 plus y3 and here we have x2 okay. this we have now area of triangle ABC we can write here area of track that is A D E F plus area of trapezium A not A C E F B plus minus area of track what that is a b f b now you substitute this value then first one is y1 plus y3 half is there remember half is there so half will be common for all here we are getting half for each case so half will be common we'll take the half outside and here we are getting y1 plus y3 into x3 minus x1 plus y3 plus y2 into x2 minus x3 minus minus y1 plus y2 into x2 minus x1 now we are going to solve and we will try to get our present. Let's see. We don't need this one. Simple. Just to multiply. Which one? Y1 into X3. We are getting Y1, X3, Y1 minus Y1. So generally what we will do, right? We will not take Y first. Okay. X, Y. Alphabetical order will arrange x3 y1 x3 y1 minus x1 y1 x1 y1 next plus x3 y3 next minus x1 y3 this is your first one okay second one x2 y3 plus x2 y2 
minus will go like this x2 y3 x2 y2 now minus x3 y3 minus x3 y2 next already minus is here remember there is a minus we need to apply here x2 y1 plus we get and there is a minus so minus x2 y1 next forget about right now x2 y2 plus we get but due to this minus we get here minus x2 y2 now minus as there so minus x1 y1 and there is a minus plus x1 y1 again we get plus x1 y2 let's see that which are cancelled minus x1 y1 plus x1 y1 cancel next plus x2 y2 minus x2 y2 cancel plus x3 y3 minus x3 y3 cancel now we'll arrange according to our formula take your x1 first minus x1 if we'll take minus x1 or plus x1 we will write if we'll write plus x1 to so find plus 1 yes we have here plus so we'll take here plus x1 and we are getting here y2 minus y3 next again we need plus so x2 plus x2 find plus x2 where is plus x2 will you get plus x2 yes we will get plus x2 find it yes this is your plus x2 we need to put right here plus x2 that is your y3 minus another one x2 see here uh, here yeah, this is y1 plus x3 so use here x3 find x3 plus x3 yes we have here plus x3 that is y1 minus y2 this is our formula and now we are going to apply this one more that is x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 and the right in the right hand sense a uh, neighbor in it that's why we use here modulus symbol and this is our day equation you can see here i hope you people have understood thank you